BSA Lightning Clubman was developed from the BSA Lightning and designed as a production racing motorcycle with a special gold and black paint scheme, drop handles, rear set footrests, a crank kick start, twin carburetors, Siamese two-in-one exhaust system, a single seat and close ratio gears fitted as standard with a top speed in the right conditions of 120 miles an hour, it competed against the Triumph Bonneville as a top bikes for the 1960s. Launched in September 1964, the Lightning Clubman was only in production until October 1965, resulting in a limited production run of 200 machines. So original Clubman models are highly sought after. The BSA Spitfire placed the Lightning Clubman as BSA's highest performance machine in 1966. Right, g'day everybody. We told you we were gonna show you this motorbike that Mick has got, which is the brother-in-law, isn't it? Yep. Up in Canberra. So we're about to show you what he has here and he's about to explain what it is and where he got it from and that. Okay, Mick, tell us what this bike is. So it's a 1965 BSA Lightning Clubman. What size engine is it? 650 twin. And these are one of the rarer ones, are they? They only made 200. So, where did you get the bike from and when? So, well, I bought it in, in England, so I've owned it for 47 years. But you had to get it out to Australia, didn't you? Yep. So, how long ago Been did you bring here it here? Th four years it's been here. Four years, and it came out here in bits? No, it, well, it, it was kind of like that, but it had no no guts in the engine or anything because it had been all pulled apart in England and uh, kept in my brother's garage and his loft. And <laughs> so Mick well, uh, is a mechanic though, so you rebuilt the engine and that, didn't uh, you, the majority of it? Yeah, it's all, it's all been re fully rebuilt now. So um, hopefully we can do some road testing and like the Australian weather. If it ever stops raining. Yeah, if it ever stops raining. Okay, give her a bell and see if she starts, mate. I'll try. It always does when there's nobody watching. Of course. But Bikes are all the same, mate. They're temperamental like women. <laughs> <laughs> I'll reserve comment on that Earth. one. So these high compression engine? Pretty much. So this is from a cold start, guys. This is from... When was it last started? Oh, six weeks, baby. She goes. <laughs> Come on, baby. Oh, almost fired. Look a bit quicker than that one anyway. So they should have oil. Uh, make sure the oil pump's working. Yep. What's this? Internal oil pump, sir? Hey. What sort of oil pump? Internal or? Yeah, it's in here. Right, okay. Yeah. It's uh, all original actually. 
you can buy new modern push pumps, but they're just so expensive. Yeah. So, Very nice. Check it out, you know. So, how many k's has it done, roughly? What all together? Oh, yeah. In its entire life. I don't know because. Better off. Yep. I don't know because if you look at the, that's a rev counter. Yep. That's original. Yep. Speedo has been replaced. So what's that speedo? Well, mean? that's well, it's it's still off of one of these, but it it's didn't come with the bike, so I don't know how many. Right. Okay. It, uh, you know, it's just done that much since I since I've owned it. And obviously, you've done modifications to make it better on the road, like indicators. Yeah, yeah. Indicators and mirrors? Indicators, mirrors, yeah. Never, never came out of factory with either. Right, and but, no uh, rear indicators, no front indicators? Um, no, no, not, not from the factory, no. Yeah, just, yeah, that's about it, really. Just the, the, the indicators. But, you know, modern day traffic, you just got to watch it. Cause you were no, saying you were. There's no stoplight on the, on the brake. Right, okay. There's only a stoplight on the rear brake. Right, okay. So, modern day traffic, you're just not used to stuff like this, you know, so. No. Um, well, you've got to make it as safe as possible for yourself, don't you? Well, that's it. As simple you know. as that, before you get rear-ended. You're saying you did have a close call before you put the indicators on. Yeah, and um, I'm in the middle lane. Checked before I pulled out, you know, but uh, this car just came through the traffic lights. Yeah. God knows how quick we're doing. We're probably doing 150 clicks. Ah. Come right. straight past me, you know. And you've put a horn on it too? Oh, it had a horn on from new. Oh, I did it? Yeah. Right. So okay. there were just no indicators, no mirrors. Right, okay. Yeah, they came out with uh, all the other stuff fairly normal. Um, so the plan is? That's not factory, but... How come that... What's there for the... Oh, for just the, a cooler for the brakes. Right, okay. It's not factory, but it's a period accessory. Right, okay. That's it, really. That's, you know, is as is. But um, I put new forks, seals, new bushes and everything in the forks, new brake shoes. Because when it came here, you see, it had the original brake shoes in it. Yes, you told us about that. They were asbestos, weren't they? Well, they had asbestos in them. And so you had they, trouble, didn't you, getting into Well, they, it, it, it cost me $10,000. Yeah. It cost me $3,000 for them to take the wheels off and throw the brake shoes away. Which it could have been done in England by your brother, couldn't it, if well, you had known? They were already out. If I'd have known, he could have just left them out. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, that's it. They find these things out. So, yeah, the government, uh, the government could, apparently, they could have fined me $750,000. Really? I'll be buggered. And they're like, Excuse me, why don't you just... Throw? And they said, well, we'll just throw them... Assume that there is asbestos in them and just throw them away. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not our responsibility. Because if it doesn't, you know, it's up to you. So then I had to get a proper a guy yep. to so, come along and, and take them out for So me. when it got to Australia, how long was the hold-up for before you got it? How long did they keep it for? Before, it was, uh, that, before it was handed six over? Six weeks, I think. Fair dinkum. Just for brake pads. And they kept telling me, you know, that, um, oh, you know, and, and, and as it got this and fill this form out and fill that form out. And they told me in the beginning that it were costing $170 a day for storage. Oh, you're kidding. Man, I found out that that was rubbish. Yep. So somebody were trying to scam me somewhere along the line. It was the government, mate. Eh? Of course it was the government. Well, it was either that or the guy that, you know, in the shed. I don't know, but uh, I said, oh, someone's yanking my chain. I'll come down and see you. And strangely enough, the very next day, I got a phone call saying it had passed. <laughs> <laughs> so I could come and collect it properly. So? Uh, oh, right. That's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> so, intention for this bike is to keep it like it is. Yep. You're not going to do paint work or anything, you're just keeping it... I probably will. Oh, I'll definitely do these. Right, where they're Because they're, yeah. They're, is they're, that fibreglass, yeah, is it? Yeah, fibreglass, yeah. yeah. 
I'll paint. definitely paint them up and I might even paint the tank, but I'm not going to re-chrome and I'll probably... So what back. is this, what's this on here, this chrome bit? Is that actual chrome, is it? Yeah. The tank's been chromed then painted across the well, top? Well, the whole, the whole tank's chrome, yeah. Right, okay. As you can see through this chip. And this is original paintwork on it? Yeah, yeah. The lines are not. I, I attempted to do them 100 years ago when I was a kid. Is uh, it painted, yeah? Yeah, painted. But that's on, the way they are, though. That, yeah. yeah. But it needed a professional. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, you know, it is what it is. That's yeah. what you did when you were 16. Well, that's it. Have you, you've had this since you were 16. Fair dinkum. Oh, maybe 17, but yeah, like the... Uh, I won't tell you how old he is now, but he is retired now. So he's had it for a long time, a hell of a long time. Right, for 47, and, 47 years. And I've really, been. it's amazing. It's amazing that someone kept it in storage for you since you've been in Australia for how many years? Since 1990, so... So he left it in England at his brother's? Yeah. Yeah, and he's been here all that time. They've kept it for him and then arranged to get it put out when he was ready. The, ship it over. <laughs> well, that's absolutely marvellous, Mick. I think we'll leave it at that, eh? Great. Good on you. Thank you. Great bike. Good on you, Russ. Good okay, on you. then. Thank you very much for telling us about it, mate. No problem.